get right into the headlines. I don't know if anybody saw this, but according to a recent study, people in England would be willing to give up their best friend for an average price of $171,000. <laughs> Is this why is this why Oprah isn't returning any of my calls? Is this... <laughs> now here's the I spent all of my life in England, so to me this makes sense. You see, in England, you just go down to the nearest pub, buy someone three pints, bam, new best friend. It's fine. <laughs> like that. One greeting card company has already made some changes to their cards after hearing this news. Your friendship is worth $171,000. <laughs> Moving on, according to another study, three out of ten Americans are in a nearly year-long sexual dry spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quick show of hands, who here <laughs> is in that dry spell? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> are you? You're in that dry... Are you? Are you? It's a... Yeah, are you in it? You're in it? Anyone else? You're, you're in it? <laughs> I mean, that is the biggest lie you've ever told. <laughs> By the way, sexual dry spell was also my nickname in high school. <laughs> a, a, now, a lot of people, when they're stuck in a dry spell, they often turn to Tinder, then they take one look at Tinder and go, do you know what, I'm good in this dry spell, this is fine. <laughs> and we wanted to tell you about this. Twin brothers from Belgium were recently arrested after getting involved in a fight but police couldn't differentiate the brothers in the security footage, so they were both released without charges. <laughs> this, yeah, this is why Matt Damon and I have never been convicted of anything. <laughs> you can't tell us apart. <laughs> why is that funny? <laughs> yes, I am right. <laughs> we're basically identical. He's a fraction taller. First, the authorities in Belgium thought it was one brother, then the other, then the one, then the other. It's a classic case of Belgian waffling. <laughs> and in some other news... No, don't you clap that. No, don't. Don't you dare. You're too good to clap that. We're not. You are. OK. <laughs> in some other news, some airline passengers in Spain were delayed after a slow-walking flamingo took a stroll across the runway. We've got the video. Have a look. Look at that strut. Just, I mean... Like, that is a... That's a level of confidence I will never have. Here's the thing, though. Flamingos can fly. What are you doing at an airport? <laughs> if I could fly on my own, I would never go to another airport again. <laughs> Except for Cinnabon. <laughs> It's just like that old expression. How does it go? The plane in Spain had to abstain because the flamingo was vain on the wrong terrain. I think that's right. <laughs> and finally, here's a scary story out of Texas. A massive off-campus college party was interrupted by some uninvited guests. Take a look at this video. <laughs> I know. If you live in Texas and your neighbours are being too loud, that's what you do instead of calling the police. <laughs> Just open a gate and go, get at it, go for it. <laughs> it was funny until one of the bulls who was charging around looked at the barbecue and was like, oh, my God, Randy! 